Hello, this is Joe Neville, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about configuring Ubuntu networking with NetPlan and then showing you a demo of NetPlan in action. If you've used any of the versions of Ubuntu that have come out in the last few years, you may have noticed that there's a newish approach to network configuration, and that is NetPlan. So what is it? Well, according to the website, it's a network configuration abstraction renderer. Well, that's some nice word suit, but what is it? Well, essentially, Essentially, it's YAML. It's a YAML configuration file which you populate with the configuration that you want. Then you generate it and it creates the different configurations which can be applied to these different renderers like System D, Network D, or Network Manager. You can choose which one it goes against. So it sits at a higher level. Look at the diagram, it's higher, this is lower. Okay, that's fine. So, how do we configure it? Surely there's just a really simple configuration guide. Well, not really. Um, this is the how do I use it part of the website and this is all they give you because DHCP v4 is on by default so if you want to actually configure a static IP address and that's probably the reason why you're looking at NetPlan it doesn't throw you any bones here at all so then we are looking through the website here for different examples and examples are on here but it's not structured in a very easy to read way I believe like all of the different features are in here and you get examples you can see because there's a huge amount of functionality that can be added in here you got the common properties and things like that so I'm mean, personally I found myself trawling through this then we've got the design which goes into the way that it works and you get that lovely diagram again and then finally we have which I guess lots of people will jump to the examples and the examples are just a jumble of different approaches with the configuration options from the other page put together in such a way that they think would be useful in the real world so you get an example here with static IP address you've got default gateway and your DNS going on there now most of these examples are just for v4 though if you're interested in v6 you have to scroll to the bottom where is it here and it's you know the v6 is added in with some other example about building tunnels you know okay great personally i didn't find that the easiest so i put together a very simple guide essentially because i kept getting annoyed about forgetting the basic commands and the basic functionality and these are my notes that i put together so i've chucked them up on a dev to uh, mainly for myself but if anybody else finds them useful then you know great uh, there is a bit of a workflow to it which I'll show you in the demo so you have to configure the YAML file then you can generate it which is like LinkedIn it verifies the syntax and then you can apply it um, and I put an example there so it's a dual stack example so hopefully all oh, three people have liked it I haven't liked it myself and there we go brilliant so four people have now <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could do that to be honest okay so um Let's jump into the example then. Here I am on a fresh install of Ubuntu Server 2004. I haven't touched the configuration of networking yet and by default DHCP v4 is on and IPv6 Slack is enabled. If we have a look, so my interface is Ethernet 0. You can see that my IP address which was picked up via my DHCP v4 server is 192.168.2.128 and then I've got that Slack generated IPv6 address. There is a default YAML file that the server uses when it boots up that is stored in etc net plan so let's move there and you can see it's this 00 installer config.yaml if we have a look at that there's not much in there so we've got DHCP v4 turned on wait they don't call it v4 it's just DHCP 4 true no mention of IPv6 but IPv6 as you can see for slack is on and I find this a real pain and that is essentially why I wrote that blog post is because unlike a lot of other configuration files for Linux there's no commented out examples so you have to have your examples to hand or go off searching for them so vast majority of people are just going to be wanting to set a static IP4 address why they haven't included a commented out version of that for you to adapt I've no idea because the syntax is not like you can just guess your way through this it's a YAML file the structure is really important complaints aside let's be positive or try to be and configure a new setup 
We're just going to call it netplan1.yaml. Okay, I'm just going to paste down a file that I've prepared earlier. Things to look out for are the interface name. I know that mine is ETH0. Make sure you do an IP address and note that down before you start writing this because it can vary. The next line is important as well. I've turned off DHCP v4 with false here. The reason being is that I've noticed with NetPlan, if you go to configure a static v4 and you leave it as default, which is that DHCP v4 is on, then it retains the DHCP learnt address. So you get two IPv4 addresses, one DHCP, one static. So that's obviously not what I want. I'm turning off DHCP there. And also the next line is of interest. This is IPv6, so it's a dual stack interface. But as you'll notice that the v4 doesn't need quotation marks, but the v6 addresses do. That's easy to miss. Next one, we've got the default gateway. So we've got the v4 and the v6 default gateway. Again, quotation marks for the v6. Next is our DNS. So we've got our name servers, the search list, and then the addresses of our name servers. So that's good. That should be ready to go. But what I want to do is I want to put an error in here. So I'm going to take off that quotation mark. Now I've saved that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the NetPlan feature generate. Okay, we put in the name of the file. And what this does is it generates the configuration from our YAML if it can, but it doesn't apply it. So it's like linting essentially for the NetPlan YAML file. Now, and that's the reason why I missed off that quotation mark on purpose, because then you can see that you get an error. It shows you where it is. So we can go back into the file and we will add in the quotation mark. Hopefully that is going to work. So we'll generate again. Good. That's what you want. You don't want any output. If the generate works, there's no output. It hasn't applied the IP address yet. We can just prove that we're on the old one there but we at least now we know that our file is going to work now the other thing that we can do rather than generate there is a feature called try which is a nice safety net so what try does is it will roll back the configuration if you don't press return within two minutes and the reason for that is really important especially in setups like this where I've only got a single interface and I'm SSH'd onto it so when I change the address that I'm logged on to the server with I'm going to be cut off so in, you know in production if this is a problem you can use try to then if you've cut yourself off and you can't get back in with the new address it will roll back to your previous network configuration after two minutes I'm not going to do that though I'm just going to do the more direct approach which is apply. So as soon as I hit that, I should be locked out. There we are. Okay, I'm locked out. So let's open another window. And my new address for V4 is 99. Okay, there we are. Right, I've logged in and let's have a look at the IP address. And there you can see we've got, pull that across, we've got the 192.168.2.99 slash 24 and v6 is configured correctly it has a static ip address there it's still got slack running but it's much more common to have multiple addresses with v6 we can tidy that up in netplan if you just want to go with statics okay that's it for this video hope you found that useful so my notes for this are up on dev.2 i guess that's how you say that um, I will leave a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Joe Neville and goodbye.